All right, it's time for the ultimate showdown. Port Mafia versus the ADA. I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 3, Episodes 11 and 12. The first one's called Cannibalism, and the last one's called Echo. Now, before we get into anything about the episodes, uh, I do want to say the first and last episode of every season of every show that we watch on the channel, the full-length version, which is normally available on Patreon, is available for free for all you guys. So click the link at the top of the description. Enjoy that free full-length. Come back here for the review afterwards. And if you guys do enjoy that, consider keeping that for the future. You know, check out that patreon it's a fun time over there it truly is also with fukuzawa and mori at their old location that only they know that's going to be one of their final resting spots one of them is going to die i really don't think that's going to happen or at least i hope not i have no idea how this is going to end this show has been very expectation subverting we shall say like i'm very i'm not expecting any of the plot twists and any of the surprises that end up coming so i'm very much looking forward to this end and I'm ready for a season four when that finally does come out. I know that did get announced, so I'm excited. I say be hopping in this. Don't forget to check out the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Follow the Dapper channel. You know, of course, click that button uh, and that bell. Subscribe, all that jazz. Let's hop into this. Bungo Stray Dogs, season three, episode 11, Cannibalism. Let's do this. Here's Elise. Elise is just full of powers. The Silver Fox. The best assassin, best swordsman assassin of the government? Okay. 12 years ago? Are we actually getting a flashback? 12 years ago? Ooh, that is a drippy scarf. Look at a young Mori. Natsume, both their senses. So he's not really a part of the Port Mafia or anything? Hmm. He's just an underground doctor in like the black market doctor trade, you know, dealing with all the shady people who get injured. Reminds me of Hunter Hunter. I love the way this is animated, how it's like it's blue and red. We saw the blue earlier and oh this is this is super dope. All of them. He does not care. Oh. I love the animation and the art style right now. How they're like, have this red outline on top of their black outline, you know? Mm. With the scalpels too in that face. Oh my god. Makes sense because of his relationship with Fukuzawa. Come. There's uh, Naomi's cat. No, Naomi's friend's cat, the office worker. Again, 12 years ago. Another just. See, now this is like more of a purpley blue. Tyranny of the Mafia, huh? Now we're back to the present tense. Oh my god, this is so clean. Ooh, with Elise though, Elise is pretty dope. would oversee the twilight the three-part framework between the special ops port mafia and the ada i could personally see that That was a scalpel in his neck. And 
That is a good observation. Okay, Kunikido with the observations, detective man. Yeah, someone was actually able. Oh no. If Fukuzawa actually dies right now, I will be so pissed. Wait, 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 This is Naomi's friend's cat, but this is also the same cat who we've seen in the the the, the bar, right? Was the Lupin? Because we've seen this cat at uh, Surabachi, the little the with <laughs> Desai. Was that not with Desai back in the day with Hiratsu, or am I just crazy? That could have been just in the future pre present tense. But we've seen this cat multiple times to the point where you guys were commenting. I love every time he points out the cat as if it was like a little Easter egg. I was just like, oh, we're just going to see the cat all the time because it's from the bar. And it's just like a little thing like, oh, hey, we're still, you know, just a little kid. Hey, I'm the cat, you know, I'm the cat. But what the I, like I was just talking about how this show subverts expectations and is not what I would expect, and we have a transforming cat. I am a cat, special ability, Natsume. Kata, oh, he even has the hair like the cat! Could Tai figure it out so Natsume saved him? <laughs> In a dried sardine, he gave him the info. Are you serious? This is not what I was expecting at all. Episode fucking 36, Cannibalism Part 3. <laughs> I love the rivalries we have like this. Dazai, Chuya, Octagua, <laughs> Atsushi. Right over him, like it's nothing. Right behind him, like it's nothing. And then... <laughs> My man has gotten a lot better with the Were Tiger. You want to prove your superiority, you got to focus up. Come on. Come on, Octagua. Damn. Think about the long term. Come on. Ooh. I love that shot. Yeah, the cracking. Wow. Look at him being accepting of criticism and critique. Wow. Very introspective. I like it. Do you want to die? Or do you want to stay alive? Oh my god, he could cut off his ear so fast, so quick. Now that's not a bad play. I was not expecting this from Octagua. I know, right? Especially with people who are in it for money but can see the better side once they've had it like like a lot of people in the port mafia this would be a smart play that's not fyodor is it no who is this is that the guy with the cannibalism ability it's always the right answer okay Ooh. I don't know about that, but I, I mean, I like that as a motivation for our main character. Oh, 
He's very close. Two meters away, right on the other side. Oh. It was him? That motherfucker got some air. Oh, damn, that was an abrupt ending. Okay. Yep, Octago was going through it. Okay, Desire vs. Fyodor. Octago is not having it. Get on my back. We're going halfway tiger mode. Yeah, you want to talk about Were Tiger? Here we go. Talk about teamwork. Ooh. You can't let him get away, though. That is a earth bending arm. Is this Ivan? It looks like it is. That's very strong. He's just an earthbender. I love earthbending. Ooh. Uh, the tag team right here. Stay put, sickly man. <laughs> Keep running, fool. I love when animes play a dope ass music, do a dope ass song right before an amazing part like this. Look at this. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see us, huh? Just bouncing off. It's like we're doing leave hurricane type shit. Rock Lee, you can't see him. Where'd he go? Yup. Be my horse. He is not dead yet? Substitution Jutsu? He actually used this. This is like Naruto. Holy shit. This, they animated his face so weird right there. I love it. He can turn it into like quicksand as well. He has full control over Earth. That's so dope. He needs to know if it's worth it. Why do you fight? I'm curious. What's he gonna do? You know the answer. To fight for the right to live. I get that, I understand that that was symbolism. <laughs> and I love that motivation for him, but what's up with the water? Like, that was like an actual entity right there. Oh no, it's just the water itself. That's just my man Atsushi having, okay. That's far more brutal than my trivial death. He's not gonna give him demonic armor, right? There's just no way. Space and all. My man can appear and disappear within space because of Rashomon. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, this might be the dopest looking Atsushi I've ever seen. Ever. A peerless sword against which there can be no defense for physical armor or abilities. Oh my god. 
Beast Beneath the Moonlight, Rashomon. Oh, my Kokuto Zetsu. This is so sick. This show is just fan service to its ultimate degree, and I love it. Like, Dazai Chuya, Mori Fukuzawa, and then this? Are you serious? What a simplistic escape route. Damn, they got the whole squad. 88 and Port Mafia. Fuck no. He was in a literal fucking cafe just drinking tea. And them? <laughs> That's Natsume? The one that caught the, the guild leader? Francis? Wait! That's me! Subarashi! He does have that, I remember that. He did have that. They set that up perfectly. Yep, it's it set up Francis with that power. Crime and Punishment, right? That's the name of it? Talk about an ending to Season 3. Talk about a goddamn ending. Season 4 cannot come any sooner. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Shut up, Kenji. God, he has no idea. No, it doesn't mean that either, Kyoko. <laughs> oh my god. I know. Oh, this is so funny. That's the Silver Fox right there. He appreciates his subordinates. Come on. ADA was... It was interesting. <laughs> we'll put it that way. <laughs> You are fundamentally incompatible, but you guys make one of the best teams I've seen. Ooh. Okay, a little. Ooh. Damn, he's trying to give him some facts right now. Get a different perspective, Octagua. You'll learn. You will see the truth. See? Like, from what I assume... I don't want to... I want to pause it right now so I can talk, but we're at the end. I just got to keep it playing. Keep it going, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Oda. Oda. That was a real, yes, it is just like you guys. That is, oh, that is a perfect way to end this season. A perfect analogy to a dope man who I miss dearly. To the stray dogs, cheers. Man, if I didn't know season four was already announced and coming, I'd be tearing, I'd be like crying right now, I'd be bawling. That was a fantastic ending to season three. Oh, oh. Woo! Well, for a finale, I gotta say, that felt really good. I love how they still left it open-ended for definitely more down the line. And I love how this felt like a good part to end a series on if they wanted to. But also, like I said, they leave it mad open because not only Fyodor, Nathaniel, and all the rest of the actual villains... But we have Octagua and Atsushi who is like, I'm going to have Kurikita trade me. I'm going to do this, that, and the other. Like, he has tangible goals that he wants to do and complete for the next six months and for the next time, we should say. And it's super dope that we get that. And that ending, the fight, the teamwork, the craziness, everything. The fact that Fyodor was five steps ahead. And then we were five steps ahead of him. 
and then he was even more ahead of that like it's just like it, it's like death note when it comes to that it has fantastic action set pieces it's like dragon ball when it comes to the rivalries and the character you know oh i just i just love it i love it i love it i love it the gifts and the powers themselves are like my hero because they're so unique and so well thought out you know um, we finally got to see Natsume. Like, there was so much awesomeness in this last episode that that like, kind of gets overshadowed, but that was crazy. Natsume, who his power name was like, I am the cat or I am cat, something like that, is the cat we've been seeing this whole time, just watching shit go down. And I love how Naomi was talking to her coworker, like, your cat really does leave every time some shit's about to go down. <laughs> and they show that right before we see the, they get the reveal, you know? But I love the flashback we got in episode 11 of Mori and Fukuzawa, how they met. Natsume was the one who told Fukuzawa to bodyguard and protect Mori. Mori was just an underground doctor at the time. I don't even think he was a part of the Port Mafia. He could have been, but I don't think so, because I think he joined around the same time that uh, Fukuzawa was making the ADA, and Natsume was, you know, the single backer of that. Natsume also had the, the, the three-frame plan, which he had the Special Ops, Port Mafia, and ADA working in tandem to keep the city safe which on Natsume's part was really good like he is on top of it I'm, I'm assuming I'm sure he couldn't anticipate enemies like Fyodor or Francis to come into the play you know but that whole first episode Fukuzawa Mori the whole fight with them in that old mansion that they used to meet at stuff like that with Elise just getting wrecked Fukuzawa is just oh my god he is so good the silver-haired fox that man is a legend and then this episode with dealing with um, Ivan, dealing with Pushkin, Octagua, and fucking Atsushi working together with that rivalry. Oh, I love it. I love how it ended. Fukuzawa being all better. We still have shit we have to do. Francis came in clutch with the camera. Like, he's still going to be a pivotal part in this show. Like, uh, it gets me so hyped for season four. I'm very, very ready. I loved the first three. Like, this is not a show that i mean a lot of people hyped it up said i would love it and you know i always generally agree with what you guys say and you guys know me my taste you know just as well as i do so hey i just gotta say man for bungo stray dogs it's a show that i would have never even thought i would have i didn't think i would have heard of this show never if it hadn't been you guys and now that i'm watching it and i'm such a fan that i want to get like more bungo shit like i need some design figures i need an octagua figure oh i cannot wait to get more figures and play i need more bookshelves i need more. Mm, i'm excited if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below it was a fantastic journey with you guys i thoroughly enjoyed it i oh my god um don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, check out that Patreon if you guys want early access or full length. Now, I do know uh, what the next two shows are going to be. Uh, a lot of you guys are excited for new polls and new shows to watch. I have to catch up to old shows that I were slacking on. So the thing that is going to replace this show is going to be My Hero Season 5. So I can finish off My Hero, catch up to that. And the thing that is going to replace Slime is going to be Dr. Stone. And then I'm going to finish Dr. Stone and My Hero, and then we're off to brand new shows. So just so you guys know, I thought I'd let you guys know. Look forward to that, but also, we're going to be getting a lot more events out for you guys soon. So enjoy that. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Don't forget to drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day. Peace.